Hello Space Coast, welcome to the News in 90 Seconds for Wednesday, February 16th. I'm Rob Landers and here are some of today's top local stories. But first, be sure to click the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you never miss a video from Florida Today. Brevard County Commissioners are considering proposals to change the way towing companies conduct their business after hearing complaints from constituents. Commissioner John Tobias introduced the measure during Tuesday's regular commission meeting as part of the board report agenda. His first item was to solicit support from other members about sending a letter to the state attorney's office as well as the sheriff to implement penalties on towing companies who violate the law. His second proposal directly targets the fees towing companies charge when discharging their duties. Learn what prompted the proposals in Ralph Chapoco's story on floridatoday.com. The University of Florida plans to announce early results on Thursday from soil and water sampling along the Indian River Lagoon that was looking for a group of chemical compounds linked to cancer and other illnesses. The project update, which will happen online from 6 to 7 p.m. Thursday, February 17th, is part of a three-year pilot study of the so-called PFAS compounds in Brevard County, conducted under an almost $800,000 grant from the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency. Read more about the study and what it's looking for in Jim Weimer's story on floridatoday.com. After serving the city of Palm Bay for 31 years, Police Chief Nelson Moya plans to retire from the Brevard Force and take a yet-to-be-disclosed public service job on Long Island, New York. You can read more about Moya, his contributions to Brevard, and who might take his place in Rick Neal and J.D. Gallup's story on floridatoday.com. Not yet a subscriber? Unlock unlimited digital access to your best source for news and information on the Space Coast. Visit floridatoday.com slash subscribe. And that's 90 seconds. Thanks for watching.